Hi everyone! Dorota Palinska International, new artist and educator here and today we are going to do a beautiful wintery design. I hope you will really enjoy recreating this look the same way like I did playing with this design, but have a wee preview in here. Yes, yeah, so nothing overly too, compli too complicated and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start! <laughs> Slightly different, but still in a wintery set and we are going to do a press on nails for Olivia because she's not a fan of wearing the extensions, so I thought I'm going to use the hers models. I've got those uh, blue pack of the tips. I got them from eBay and I will try to search for a, a link in the description. Those uh, bits and pieces uh, of the mm, wipe is just so I know which sizes she's in. And usually we go with the sizes like um, uh, ring finger would be the smallest and uh, sorry Pinky would be the smallest and that's uh, either off. If someone has really small hands, then this will be uh, the uh, smallest size, but usually people have got the second one. Then this finger and this finger is usually the same size. So that's uh, this one here, middle finger, and then the thumb, uh, pretty small thumb she has. <laughs> and I have just picked those sizes. I think actually guys, I, Yes, what I will do, I will give you the picture of my sizing as well for the press on tips. So the picture will just jump in now. So that's the guide how to measure the tips as well. And uh, people could use, you could use it, the tape for it, uh, measuring tape or even a cellar tape and then measure it with the ruler. Uh, so I hope you find that it's really useful and helpful and obviously if you're doing it for yourself then you would just pick the tips and measure and that gives you uh, actually best uh, uh, best sizing. And another tip what I can give you is better to go for a little bit bigger size because you can always adjust it uh, with the file. Uh, but that's the tips prepared like uh, the size is choose the size uh, is right and now we are going to do a beautiful winter redesign. So I'm just going to use the tip holder. And I will give you, I'm always for the videos, I try to give you the links in the descriptions of the video. So I'm just going to um, file it the free edge because it's not uh, really as nice. So I'm just going to reshape the free edge a little bit of those tips, just so it looks better. And then take a buffer and give a scratch, it's just so we can do the next part uh, of this beautiful set. So basically, if, if you want to use the same design on the client, uh, search uh, how to sculpt the nails or how to do a set of the nails on the tips. I've got lots of tutorials on that, how to do the rebalance, how to do the fresh new set as well. Um, and you can check it on that and then use uh, this design. So once you would finish the, um, the nails, uh, that will be a next step. So the nails are nicely shaped and buff and on this pinky we are going to do a beautiful uh, chrome. So I'm going to use high shine no wipe top gel. Like remove this dust really well and uh, I had some <laughs> comments under one of the videos when I was doing a chrome that I'm so fussy and I'm taking ages applying the coat. Yes I am fussy and I show you guys why I have actually prepared it. So when I'm applying the top coat, and this is going to be actually a mess, just because I didn't clean the tip properly. I hope the camera can see it. They are a wee particles of the dust. So if you would apply your chrome on the tip like this, you will get those kind of results. Okay, you can see the dust in here. And you really don't want that because, oh, there we are. There is a dot in here and dot in there. So this is crucial. Like you really need to make sure your top coat or color application is just perfect. Otherwise, this is just disgusting. <laughs> okay. So if there is any dust, don't try to fix it. Don't try to bring it on your brush. I'm just using a needle dehydrator and cleaning everything off. Okay. So clean that well. And be really fussy, check it underneath of the light if there is still any dust particles, okay? So I'm checking every angle, no, there is not any more particles. So I can take a top coat and, and now I can get a really nice result with my chrome application. And I can see it, it is nice and clean. And a uh, good tip guys I can give you as well like if you're filing the nails, you're better off waiting a couple seconds for the dust to just come down. And then check 
Check in the light. Okay, I'm happy-ish, not 100%, uh, but that's the top coat applied, and now I can give it a cure. And uh, the chrome, it is really crucial that you really have a perfect application of the color and of the top coat to get a nice result. And I'm actually excited to use this chrome as well, and I show you guys how this chrome looks. So my tip is curing 60 seconds, and then I also tell you what to do so the chrome lasts really nice on the nails. Okay, so I'm filing another nail. And on this one, so it's nice, we are going to do some nice, beautiful color. Okay, so give those scratches and clean really well. Put it on the side so the dust fly down a little bit. I don't want this dust to fly in all over. Scratch another one. And for those tips, I'm actually filing more on the bottom, just because I want those nice coffin shape. And then clean this new as well. Okay, the dust is just coming down, and now I can apply the color. And the color we are going to use is a Blue Lips 154. It's a really nice and kind of almost white um, color, just uh, with the hint of blue, and I think it will look really nice for this set, just to kind of give it this wintry feel to it. Okay, so I'm just applying a coat of this color, cook it in. And for the first pinky, we are going to use this chrome. So I got it from the Rosalind, and I give you the link in the description, and it's a really beautiful holographic one. So this is just a chrome, and it has the powder, the pigment in the lid. And what you do is just like you go in and you close the lid, and then that will pick up you the pigment. Okay, so I've got some pigment pick up on the sponge which is provided. And now I'm just dabbing it in and start rubbing into the nail. And that's a really nice holographic one. Like, I really love this one so much, because it looks silvery, but it has those holographic feel to it. Like, absolutely beautiful. And you have to make sure you've got plenty of those pigment in your sponge. Okay, just rub it in. Very easy uh, to apply it. And I would suggest you keep rubbing it in until those little particles of the pigment are gone. So this way you will get a more chromey look. Okay, you can see it. The nice and beautiful rainbow shift to it. But to get the nice chrome, I'm always removing any kind of excess uh, of the pigment, because otherwise this pigment will go into your top coat. And this has like a wee spring inside just so you can easily pick up more. I'm just going to close that and this is a number 01. So the color is 001 but I give you a link in the description of this video. I'm going to clean my finger with a tiny bit of the blue scrub just to make sure I have no dust and no oils. And now just wrap any excess of the pigment okay because look how much is still there. And I don't want this pigment to make my chrome look dull and I again show you the difference as well. So, obviously in a salon work, like on working on my nails, I would do the things much quicker, but I really want you to show every single step and why is it so important. Take a file, give a couple of the scratches, just so your chrome is going to last, otherwise it's not going to last. Then brush away any excess, and now we can apply the top coat. Okay, so I'm just taking the high shine no wipe top gel and apply on the entire tip. Again, once you apply it, check how the top coat is reflecting in the light and then cook it inside. So this way we have created a really beautiful rainbow chrome. Now another layer of this pale, pale blue. Cook it inside. 
And then on this needle, just so we've got something shiny again, we are going to apply the Swarovski Crystal Pixie. So for Pixie, I'm going to use the Soak of Base Gel. So I've got the Soak of Base Gel and I'm just applying a layer of the base gel. Pretty decent amount. And then straight away we are going to apply the high shine top gel. The base has the um, inhibition layer and you really don't want that inhibition layer. Now I didn't took my triangle tray so I'm just going to use something else to catch all my crystals. You don't want to lose them. Okay, and then straight away we are going to apply the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. Very gentle press. Don't press too much, just very gentle. And now we are going to sprinkle it with the Pixie. Okay, so the entire tip is going to be sprinkled with the Pixie. Take a sponge or a nail wipe and I've got some sponge in there and just tap it, actually I've got missing ones here on the side. Okay, just dab it with the sponge, like you don't move them, you don't want them to be too much at the edges, because then they will just fall out. I also really like some of those uh, pixies uh, more than the others, so I'm just going to take a drop of the top coat. Clean my brush, drop of the top coat, and I'm just going to pick up those larger crystals and stick them in there. So depends uh, how the light hits it, they are less or more visible, but I really want a couple more of those really sparkly ones. And what is great with this uh, pixie uh, caviar beads that you can also apply it on top of any other color. So we could use it on top of pink, we could use it on top of blue and you will get absolutely different results. So now I'm just going to cook this one in. And here we are going to apply the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel on this nail. And we are going to do the jumper look because it's a winter time. So it's not complicated um, design, nothing over the top. But something which looks pretty nice. I'm going to cook it. So the Swarovski Crystal Pixie can go on the side. And I've got like a wee triangle tray, so I'm going to put it on the triangle tray. Now, the chrome one, the first one is ready, so I can just pull it off. So probably on Olivia's nails we are going to use the blue tech to attach this uh, nails just for a picture purpose, but uh, obviously if it would be a press-on set nails, for a client, they would use the glue to stick them on. Now, this is going to be an index finger. And because the middle one is uh, with the pixie, we are going to use this uh, chrome, uh, this uh, bluish color again. Yeah, we could do a chrome as well, or halfway through, or some design with the chrome. So I'm just applying this color again. it in. Now this one is ready so I can move on into the next part of the design. For this part I'm going to use the paint on French gel and my D-liner brush. And 
and we are going to paint number fours, pretty thick ones. And I love the fact they are in white. And then underneath we've got blue. First of all, they are stand out more. I also had the question how to make them go kind of straight. So the best tip I can give you guys is you want to have all this in a one line. So you would place your first beginning of the number four at the same place. So leave us like go like line, leave a small gap and then number four. And then you go up to this one and then down. Okay, so this way you get them kind of all in the same, same line. Don't paint them too small like we want those chunky kind of look to it. And I find it also it's better for me to paint them uh, all quick uh, like all of them and then go back and maybe touch them up with the bigger size like make, make them thicker and the last one okay and now I'm just going to make them all thicker And also when we make them thicker, you can also adjust the size and the shape of them. Okay, then on this side, we are going to do a long line. So a very long line. And the same on the other side. So when I'm painting the lines, I'm trying to do the same pressure all over just to leave the even amount of the product. Now I'm going to use the Glitter Rush Body Glitter from Barry M and that's a, uh, it's called Snow Globe. It's actually really nice uh, glitter and I love it for sugaring, but you can use any type of glitter for sugar. And sprinkle it. Tap to remove any excess and give it a cure. Okay, on this one, we are just going to apply the second layer of this beautiful color. Cook it in. The pixie one is ready. So after it is cooked, I'm going to take a file and just give a couple scratches on the side. If there is any loose crystals, I want to get rid of them just so the clients don't lose them straight away. And we've got the middle one. Okay, we have to uh, still do the thumb. And on the thumb, I usually go kind of um, easy. So the best idea would be to go for either a sugar nail, just so we've got some sparkle as well. And I think that's what I'm going to do it. So just bath entire nail. Really well. Remove the dust. And then apply the high shine no wipe top gel and we're going to sprinkle it with the sugar that's a so beautiful sugar so you can have a look how beautiful effect we have got on this one cook it in and then on this one, we need a little bit of sparkle and something to connect the ring finger because otherwise it will look not nice. So I'm just going to apply the high shine top 
uh, no wipe top gel and we are going to do a very small design on this one as well just so it goes with the rest of the nails Look it in now this one is ready so I'm just taking the brush and that's a face brush uh, I have n I got them from eBay but it's, uh, they, again they are very hard to find as well but they exfoliating facial uh, facial wax but that's the finished results like nothing over the top but it looks absolutely stunning and this is our ring finger nail let me remove the biggest excess of the blue tuck so we've got three nails ready I actually love them I could, I could wear them myself so they are not over the top they are really nice and elegant set of the nails now let me see what is going on in here okay high shine no wipe top gel so we can do the design now on this one and the best way to go because it's a winter reset we are going to paint a snowflake which is just on the side of this nail so they are going to be only three arms visible like we don't want to make it over the top This is a kind of glam set. <laughs> okay, so I have just painted three lines and now we are going to paint the arms of the snowflake, not the arms then. Mm. Again, I have no clue of the name of that. So if you know the name for this lines, which I'm painting now, let me know down in the comments below so I will learn a new word. <laughs> Also, guys, this is something absolutely new, like I have uh, never showed you how to do the press on nails, like, and then uh, let me know what you think of this type of designs, uh, if you prefer them over the other tips as well. I think it gives a nice idea how they are going to look on the hands as well, because I'm definitely going to use Olivia as a model uh, to take a beautiful thumbnail picture. Okay, so this is a small snowflake just on the side of this uh, glam set and now I'm just going to sprinkle it with the sugar effect as well so sprinkle it in just so we've got a little bit of sparkle but yes please let me know in the comments below because obviously all tutorials are for you guys and I need to know if, uh, if you're liking those type of tutorials because before I have been using those tips as well and uh, that's all what I've got left and I cannot buy them anywhere like really I cannot buy them anywhere and um, yeah and I'm searching for another solution like what to use to show you the designs obviously I will be doing lots of uh, designs on my hands as well like um, there was a request on how to remove the nails uh, if you're not able to attend the nail appointment due to the um, sounds be being shut because obviously we have been so lucky like living in a Scottish Highlands and being in the tier one where I had lots of chance to do a nails and record tutorials in a salon. I've got still a couple tutorials left from before Christmas rush and I will be posting them up as well. But after that, uh, we are we are shut again. So that's mean I'm going to have lots of time to play with different designs and uh, posting them up maybe even more than once a day for you. Um, so this one is cure as well. I'm just going to remove the glitter. And the side didn't cure well, so I'm just using a tiny bit of the blue scrap to clean it. And that's another tip ready for a collection. Should actually use this uh, display plate, but uh, you can see this beautiful set. We've got the chrome, which looks absolutely fantastic. We've got those uh, jumper, pixie and then a wee snowflake and a sugar ring on those wintery set. I, I do really hope, guys, you have enjoyed it, but please, please let me know in the comments below because I need to know if that's the tutorials you are liking to watch on the press on nail tips. So, yeah, glittery hacks, and bye for now.